Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today I have the newest addition to the Lefroy lineup. It's the 10-year-old Sherry Oak Finish. Will this be a good addition to the core range? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. All right, so this expression coming in at 48% ABV. It was finished in Oloroso Sherry Oak casks. Let's see what it is on the nose. So right away, lots of big, bold Lefroy flavors, as you'd expect. Um, big uh, contrast between uh, fruit notes and that medicinal style pea. Those are the two big things that hit you right away from this nose. I get like cherry, lots of like cherry medicinal notes, cherry cough syrup, cherry hulls, maybe some like uh, rhubarb kind of pie filling, uh, that kind of like red uh, hearty um, vegetal, fruit uh, kind of notes. Definitely gets like some oak influence in there, some like damp wood, lots of like damp kind of dank uh, flavors, kind of like the peat with that sherry cask kind of creating that um, like dungy kind of like damp basement uh, aspect. Yeah, the fruit notes in here, wild raspberry, even get maybe like a gummy, like a cola, those cola gummies, get that note in here really good. Definitely get that, like, the Freud style. You definitely get that tar note, that, like, asphalt, that, uh, <laughs> that road, you know, it smells like, like, uh, fresh paved asphalt almost. But yeah, really nice on the nose. Um, really contrasting between the medicinal peat and the, the fruitiness from the sherry cask. It's definitely strong, bold, right in your face. Let's go palette. So again, those cherry medicinal notes definitely carry over. I get like the cherry cough syrup, the cherry halls, you know, kind of like a, a cherry kind of candy uh, note to it, like a hard candy. That peat comes through. It's like the uh, morning after a campfire when it's all burnt down, all kind of ashy. You get lots of that uh, coming out of this on the finish. You get kind of like, um, like a dinner mint, almost kind of like that chalky, style uh, dinner mint. I've mentioned that note before. This is what they look like. Uh, I've said it a bunch of times in peated whiskeys. I get that kind of a lot out of this. And of course the oak, uh, kind of like more kind of drying, uh, damp wood oakiness to this as well. So I think overall, very, very nice whiskey. I think that on the nose, there's maybe like a little bit of conflicting uh, aspects as far as like that, that fresh fruit, uh, sherry cask with the medicinal. Sometimes for me anyway, uh, on a heavily sherried, younger peated whiskey, it seems like those notes sometimes combat each other. Um, I think that's why I like the Ardbeg Koivrekin more than I like the Ardbeg Yugadel, just because that younger, that fresh like peat on a younger peated scotch uh, conflicting with the sherry cask, sometimes that happens. Um, I noticed that with older peated sherry casks, sometimes that medicinal note, that heavy peat has time in the cask to dissipate you know how peat kind of diminishes over time in a cask. So an older age stated peated sherry whiskey, I feel like uh, balances those flavors a lot more, but when it's younger, they kind of conflict. Um, and I guess that's my only real criticism on the nose. I think that the finish is much more balanced, much more kind of in line um, with what you would like. Uh, that's my opinion. Wondering what style of oak they use, if it was European oak, American oak, um, seasoned casks. It'd be interesting to know. If you know, uh, let me know in the comments down below if uh, it discloses if it was a U uh, American oak or a European oak cask. Uh, my, seeking, my suspicion is that maybe it's American, maybe it's a combination of both, not really sure. Um, I just know that it's Oloroso. So yeah, I think this is a great addition to the Freud line, uh, very much enjoyable. Not mind-blowing, um, but uh, if you like sherried with peat, uh, you're gonna like this one for sure, especially if you like the Freud, because it's got all of that aspect to it and a nice uh, a nice cask finish. I think this this cask finish is, is pretty solid, pretty solid indeed. Uh, Score-wise for me, uh, I'm going 87 out of 100. I think it is very good whiskey. Uh, price, for me, I bought this one on the secondary market. This is a UK release, a 70 uh, CL bottle. Wanted to get it before it came to market just because I was super interested to try it. 
Uh, paid 140 Canadian dollars, so not too crazy, um, but I'm gonna take a mark off for value. I think at that price, it's too much. So let's bring it down to 86. Um, but I think when this comes out at retail, you know, you can find it for a good price at retail. Definitely worthwhile purchasing, especially, like I said before, if you're a little Freud fan, if you like the peated with the sherry together, you're going to like this one for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Lefroy, uh 10 year old sherry oak finish. Have you tried it? Um, if not, are you looking forward to it? And what's your favorite Lefroy expression? I think for me, the 10 year old cast strength is still unbeatable for the price, especially in certain markets like the US, you can get that for a very, very good deal. And the batches that I've tried have all been excellent. So let me know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Really much appreciated. Have a good one, guys. Cheers.